Do you live in a dry climate? Do you find it really hard to find the best home care routine to really help fix that dry skin that you're getting from that dry climate? Well, stick around and hang out with me for a little bit and I'm gonna give you some great recommendations and we're gonna discover why the skin reacts the way that it does when the climates are dry. So let's begin with what is a dry climate? Well, dry climate, we really think about it, means that there's not a lot of water in the air. So there's not a lot of humidity and that is missing. So our skin is always looking for it and it's gonna try to make it and then it's not gonna get it. So we have to find ways to incorporate products that are gonna help replenish the skin and keep our skins feeling all happy and joyous with full of water and help relieve some of that dry skin that some of you may be experiencing. So I think what's first is important is to recognize that there are different types of climates that you will experience experience more of a dry air. So one is looking at a dry climate that could be more so like a desert, okay? So we can think of that desert air, but we have to recognize that deserts are not only where the weather is super hot, you could actually have a high altitude desert mountain kind of weather. We can get more of a hot desert heat, which is we're also gonna cover, but there's also something to consider that we do also have uh, dry air in, in the more polar climates. So if you live more in the Northern hemisphere or deep in the Southern hemisphere, which would probably just be Antarctica, but we know that that cooler air also generates a lot of dryness as well. So if we think about like three kind of buckets, um, and we will also experience different types of, well, we have terrain too, right? So we know we have like a desert type of terrain. I mentioned like mountains, so high altitude, but what about those prairies as well, right? So we have more of that dryness, but we might incorporate more wind there as well. So all of these things combined are doing relatively the same thing to your skin. So as I mentioned, no water in the air, your skin is gonna to need to look for it. And there are different mechanisms that happen in our body to help produce water and hydrate ourselves. But really, we only really experience that when it's really warm. So that me what do I mean there is that when it's warm out, uh, your body will naturally wanna cool itself down. And one of the ways we do this is to create sweat. And so the sweat that's bringing the water to the surface keep, cools the skin down and then thus would equal water on top of the skin. But throw dryness in there, it's all gonna evaporate. There's nothing gonna be there for you. So we still need to ensure that we are incorporating good skincare in our routines that we're replenishing the skin to keep it balanced through any of that <laughs> disarray or havoc that can happen due to the dry air. So that's just a couple of things to keep in mind. And maybe you fit in one of those buckets, right? Uh, on my personal story, I come from uh, Calgary, Alberta, which is in the prairies of um, in Canada, and it is high in altitude. So, and it's really close to the mountains as well. So. Every time I go home, I'm actually very spoiled right now. I live in Vancouver, Canada, which we have a little bit more marine, a little bit more, a little more humidity, so it's a little bit more relaxed to the skin. But every time I go home, it literally takes me about 24 hours, and almost immediately my skin goes. <laughs> it's like completely feels like every ounce of water has been taken away from it, and then I immediately go into oh my gosh, my skin is super dry, I'm feeling a bit itchy, and that dryness can also give me the appearance of redness in my skin. Uh, so it's all over the place. So for those of you who've had this experience, I do understand and I'm really excited to share my favorite recommendations for you, regardless in which of these uh, levels of dry climate that you do live in, and hopefully you can add it to your routine to create some more relief and give your skin the best health you can give it. So first, using a good cleanser. Okay, so I think look at the very first step you do, grab a cleanser that is a little bit richer, so maybe more cream-based. Um, with Eminence, we have like our firm skin cleanser is really great. The coconut cream cleanser is like one of my top favorites I like to take with me when I travel over there. Um, or a, a cleansing oil. Those are all really good choices, especially if you are living in that type of climate. Second, you can pick any toner you like, of course, pick the toner of your choice. Uh, but really what I'm gonna be speaking to is what's something you can add in weekly? Masking is always a great place to go. What are you gonna do for that finishing product to really lock and load that hydration and moisture in your skin so it protects you all day long? And then 
what about the rest of your body? You probably saw me kind of grab my arms like this when I was talking about being in Calgary in the dry weather. It's not just the face, right? It's all of the skin on your body that's going to have this type of experience. So I know for me, when I'm home, back to visit my family and it's cold, I like to take warm showers or a hot bath to warm up my body, but that's not always the best thing to do when it's dry weather. So we generally, generally want to recommend that you have shorter uh, showers, but we're not gonna, nobody's gonna stop you from doing so, but here's the tip. Just make sure that when you're finished that you are um, putting on a really good moisturizing body lotion or I love to go with body oils, okay? So that's something that I would recommend if you do live in this type of climate. Have something that you wanna apply onto your skin immediately after you shower or take a bath, okay? So that's gonna be really gonna make the world of difference for you. So let's just begin with my favorite choices for your face uh, finishing products. I always go for a facial oil. Why? Because they are layerable. I can use a serum first, then I could use my moisturizer and then punch on top of it my facial oil. Or I can put my facial oil and then add another intensity with a moisturizer. Um, think about when you're ready to go to sleep, right? Maybe you wanna add an extra boost of moisture to the skin where you would use a night cream. Why not combine a beautiful face oil and your night cream together to really optimize while you're sleeping to protect your skin from losing water. So all the good things. So you can look at your existing home care routine that you're doing now, and maybe one of these are gonna be a great thing for you to add to really create some relief for you. So I'm just gonna begin with, we're gonna start with the uh, Camellia Glow Solid Face Oil, this little beauty right here. It is the more richer one that we have. Excellent if you are a dry, dry skin type. You'll love this. It's gonna create beautiful comfort and it's going to really bring that youthful glow to the skin as well. As with all oils, you do wanna warm it to the same temperature as your skin. And then, especially in a dry climate, you wanna avoid a lot of rubbing on the skin. So pressing your products into the skin is gonna be a little more comfortable for you. So that would just be a little tip that you can do for your application. So Camellia, if you're really on that super dry side, but some of you may be a combination skin type, right? You may be combination, a little bit oily or more of a balanced skin. You like the idea of using a facial oil, but you want to maybe have something a little bit lighter. I would grab our, shocker here, our facial recovery oil. It is really balancing. It's going to really create the relief you're looking for. And personally, if you do tend to have a little bit more of a sensitized skin, uh, this is from our Beyond Organic collection, so it has a biodynamic involved here. So we have a really little more specialized um, treatment for you here if you are even further into more of a compromised skin. So maybe that's your eczema or possibly a psoriasis as well. So this would be something I would recommend for you to add to your routine. Both of these facial oils can be to use AM and PM or anytime you feel like your skin needs that little extra dose of relief. So that's where I'd go there. For your weekly ad, I love masking and I brought one out here today that's going to be very accommodating whether you live in the hot desert climate, if you're in that more mountain desert, um, I mean the higher altitude, and then more, you could be in that prairie environment, more windy and dry, and then of course you have the, um, the, the, uh, the overall just dry, anything dry. Actually, if you just think about your environment, you're gonna be thinking now, even air conditioning, right? Think about all the air conditioning that is going on in the house. That's just sucking all the air out of your, <laughs> out of the water out of your air. So you also may not have that dry climate, but what if you like air conditioning? So this is also something for you to think about. Uh, so I grabbed their snow mushroom and reishi mask. Why it's super hydrating. I think this is a great complement to all skin types in any climate, but in particular, if you're fit in any of these dry climates, this is something that is easily incorporated into your regular home care routine. Uh, once up to three times a week, no problem. I do like a little bit of water with this guy though too, makes a bit ease for application and just let it settle in there for about, I don't know, 10 minutes is perfectly fine. Remove and then you can use your finishing um, facial oil that I've already recommended. Now last is for your body, okay? Obviously, reaching for a beautiful body lotion, maybe our coconut body lotion, it could be our stone crop body lotion, very, very hydrating. Um, but why not go for a body oil? 
I know some of you might go, well, I don't know, oil, is it gonna be sticky and it's gonna move around? It's gonna absorb beautifully. I grabbed the apricot one for today because I, it's the richer of the ones that we have. It's really fast absorbing and it smells like candy. It's delicious. I love it. And a little goes a long way. So either, so you're taking your shower, take your bath, get out. You want to do a coating of this on the body, let it soak in and you're ready to go to get dressed or go to sleep. Another great, amazing tip. If you are a bath person, you can take the cap off here and put a little bit of oil in there and just put it directly into your bath water to create more moisture and hydration in the bath all at once. So if you like to do things a little bit more conveniently and speedy, this is the way to do it. I know, dry skin, dry climate. Could you layer any more <laughs> water loss to the skin? I really hope that the solutions I was able to share with you today are gonna be something that you can incorporate into your routine you create more of a relaxed skin, especially those who are on the drier side. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will catch you next time, but don't forget to hit subscribe and that notification bell. See you soon.